Good morning and welcome to ABC123 Traded. Today is March 24th, 2022. And let's start taking a look at the NASDAQ futures. All forms of trading carry high level risk, so you only speculate with money you can afford to lose. If you lose more than the initial deposit in the stake, please ensure your chosen method matches your investment objectives. Familiarize with yourself for risk involved from necessary to get independent advice. U.S. government required disclaimers, commodity futures trading commission, trading financial instruments of any kind, including options, futures, and securities. They have large potential rewards, but also large potential risk. You must be aware of the risk and be willing to accept them in order to invest in the options, futures, and stock markets. Do not trade with money you cannot afford to lose. Alrighty. Let's, good morning, everybody. Let's see what it looks like in the market today. And from yesterday's video, I said there was that projection that it might creep up and fire down, and guess what it did? I don't know what at time. Um, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Oh, it was around 12 o'clock. So, let's put it on the daily chart for now. So they finally hit those bottlenecks. Uh, we hit some order blocks where the marker, where we predicted where it was going to go, hit it right on the money and come on back down. So it looks like they're going to play around, unless if she drops down again, we don't know. And uh, let's see where it says on the four hour chart, see we're still vibrating. We're still vibrating literally right on the foundation line. So this could be coming back here. It's just starting to turn green here, if you notice. See? Yeah, the cloud is just starting to turn green. So we might get a pull down. You know where we might go for the pull down? The pull down might be just in this zone here. So let's go F6. Might be right there. 14.3 maybe, 200 point drop. Not sure yet. There's high volume in this section and this section. Uh, they're trying to break through. You can see that you had, we had our first little green candle here for early, you know, early entry on the regular minute chart, but we're not ready yet. And we're at 931. We're already at market open. So what we can do, here's our, you know what we'll do is we'll get rid of all, all dry objects for now. And what we're going to do is while it's pushing out really hard, this is the area of interest to buy in. But if it goes so fast that it doesn't work, we're going to find out. So at 14.660, let me see here, we got 30 points. That was at the end of the day. So 14.450, let's say. Uh, That's the market maker here, so it might be just vibrating back and forth. Do we have any other candles to tell us what's going up and down? 824 sell, 935.4 buy. We'll let them play for a sell off for now, because we don't know right now. We are in a buy phase here. We'll have to see if it gets to the bottom of this consolidation right down here. See all this consolidation here? We're at the 66 day trend, deep, deep retracement of the day trend. If we get in here, we might get to do a buy in, but we're still a few minutes into the market. See it drop like a stone. And see what our, our uh, map, trade map says. If this trade map is correct, I think we we'll might have to wait till quarter after quarter after ten. It all depends. But we did hit a whole bunch of stop outs here. See this? Bop 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 bop. And uh, our those are stop outs or order blocks. It's both. Yeah, she's she's really tight right now. So we'll we'll hold on. Well, while we're doing that, let's transition to the main screen here and see exactly what's happening, where all the vibration is. This was yesterday's close of the high volume to shut her down and then she creeped up all night. A lot of resistance here. And this is our first major volume. That would be just market open volume. So it's been quiet all night. So we have to wait and see. 
we'll, we'll watch. We have 935 buy-in, but it's 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 not that. It's it's not really nice. And as you can see, this is our this is our vol our our volume profile. We're right at the 50% zone, so there's there's indecision right now. 14, 495, 31, 14, 96, yeah, there's a whole bunch more, there's bigger block numbers within that uh, 14, 5 number. The only thing, and when was the last major order block? Yeah, that was that high volume block yesterday, so it might actually, well, I did a couple of deep retracements already, that was from yesterday. So maybe let them grind down and maybe we can go again, I'm not sure. Because we've got from a straight sound from 35 to 91. Let me see here. We are positive numbers. So we got 14%. I'm going to transition one more time here. See where it's 14, 16%. We'll let them grind down for a while. But I really don't like how this uh, trade map is right now. Let me knock all these stops here. I want to see a really, really knee-jerk reaction. And we're below the... There we go. Let's do this. Oh, that was market open price. We're below the VWAP, but we're in green zone here, and they are fighting. And there's not really much movement. What I'm also going to do see where all the block is there. 625714. Very tight range. So just playing today, it looks like. You know what I also I'm gonna do while this this is vibrating like this? Because there hasn't been any big volatile moves. Let's take a look. Uh, Economic calendar. Let's see if there's anything. She's still holding. That's already happened. Jobs, 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 jobs. PMI today, 945. There we go. Manufacturing PMI. We're going to find out what's going to happen at, well, it's not already that already happened today, I think. Is this Eastern Summer? What's the time on this? No, this is this is correct. This is my time. So, uh, 945 PMI. We're going to see what. Oh, another fit. Oh, that's Fed Waller, whatever. Uh, natural gas. PMI. I'm going to do five more minutes. Alrighty. I will be back. Alrighty, I'm back. And uh, what I wanted to show you is I just gave it some time. Uh, we're at quarter to quarter to, and as you can see, it literally hit the marker. And the reason why I put these vertical lines here, it's because, so you can see where the consolidation is, right here and here. This consolidation, you know, it's bouncing, vibrating, vibrating, pop down, vibrating, vibrating, pop up. This area, if you think about it, from four o'clock to about maybe 6.30, that's an hour and a half here, and another section of 45 minutes. So if I go ruler, let's go ruler, let's see how many minutes it that, it literally says. Hour 48. Hour 48 of sitting in there. So we know there's nothing happening and we're just gonna let them play back and forth until it makes a decision.
the one you're going to be looking for, I'm going to be watching this volume right now. Well, this is so flat. I want to see if there's going to be a big explosion of volume. There's still no high volume. This looks like it wants to fail though. Okay, we're starting to get some high volume kicking in. Now let's see if we can break that though. This is what I'm looking at. So she's starting to spike, starting to spike, starting to spike. Well, she stopped right there. And she stopped right there, so they're still playing. Nothing, nothing aggressive, there was just a dump. And that was at uh, 17 after. Now if she's gonna do another bounce here or she's breaking through. Volume's increasing now. So what I can do now is order submitted. Hopefully I get it, and then I will just grab Order one. filled. Hopefully we can get down to... See, there's a lot of selling going, going on now. $170 there. We can get to, let's see, 42. I know we can get to the bottom of this range here. Order fill. Good enough. $220. Ah, took a while for it to drop out, fail out. <sighs> Another trade day. Frustrating day. But it is what it is. I'll just shave 220. I don't like the consolidation here. I want to get the bottom of the range. Okay, we took that impulse move going down. We did break this section here. Unless there's a big bar. And I took it by how many ticks before it shut down? Wasn't that much for 220, but it was better than nothing. This could be a deep trace for going back into this zone here. This zone is just too tight, too long. So let's let's do the conclusion. What was I looking at this morning? I'm going to move this over. And why I chose it. Start from the top. A lot of consolidation here. Just trying to break down. Maybe we'll get down to this zone. A lot of playing. We know we know we're within that zone, but we don't know exactly what's happening. Now she's starting to break to the prior low. Just starting to curl. She was just playing, playing, playing. 
And so she finally broke out of all this time whipsaw where everybody getting destroyed, uh, some of that price action. We waited through all this whipsaw back and forth, back and forth, back for the peak. Barely maybe they went to grab this. Kickoff point 1015 did work, guys. Excellent. And now she's drawing and she's dropped down. I only took a really small trade here because I really don't like with all this whipsaw here coming down. We were just trying to get to the bottom here. Now, now let's see where I let's see because I don't have on this chart here. Let's see exactly. Oh, we're almost at zero there, so maybe it is turning around. Look at that. I'm within a tick or two where I took my trade. See, I only took this little amount of much. Look at the reversal on that. That's just crazy here. So the low was 14.45. So about two points off. It's good enough. I grabbed the money, shut her down, and. Uh, and that's about it. It's just because this was the first impulse move, you gotta wait for the retracement, maybe a second move again. We don't know. This, this was the, after all this waviness, they still could have said, oh, we're just gonna grab it and maybe reverse up. See, we're almost at 0% here, 74, and then they get 13 there. They're, they're just playing today until they make their decision. So what I really looked for, because it was so consolidated, See, this could be the prior low for going back up. See, they're getting slowly but surely trying to get back in the zone, unless they just tap the reverse. We're not sure. I just saw a lot of sell-off volume starting up. And that's why I said, okay, we had one sell-off volume here, she broke, and she just kept on going, quite move. And I said, okay, here it starts going again, and I'll grab it down to the bottom, to 42, 45. Bottom of that range, because we know our range is from the top to the bottom. But they're still playing, because when you're looking at, uh, they're playing, they're so ugly right now. They're just whipsawing. So other than that, if you have any questions, you know where you can email me at abc123trader. I, I hopefully tomorrow, if we can get a trade, I hope that I can see a really nice bar that activates so we can actually get into this trade. Because this is, this is, this was a, just a two, $200 hit, just to see if we could just get some money in the bank there. And uh, yeah, it was it was it was not a fun trade day. Alrighty, you take care and have a great day.